What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time, we got a new artist. First time listening to Haystack. I looked him up. He says he's from Nashville, so we're gonna be showing some more love to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, when I looked him up, names like Big Smo and Jelly Roll were brought up. I, I I never really listened to Big Smo, but Jelly Roll I listened to. Uh, not like consistently or anything, but when a new project drops, I'll check it out and. If he's working with guys that I like, I'll definitely check it out. But uh, if he sounds if he sounds anything like Jelly Roll, I think I'll be a fan of what he's bringing. The song's called First White Boy. Wonder what it's going to be about. <laughs> uh, so let's hop right into this. Yeah. yeah. Back when I was trying to get my foot in the door, my people used to come at me like, you need to get with this dude or that dude and, you know, try to ice skate into the game on his coattails, you know. I always thought that theory was some bullshit, and I was gonna prove it myself. It's facts, dude. Like, you, how are you gonna make your own name off of somebody else's? I always thought that theory was some bullshit, and I was gonna prove it by staying right here and standing on my own too and doing me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had my hand held. I just said what I felt, trying to be myself and nobody else. My lyrics were heartfelt, and people they responded well. My buzz became a swell. The record started to sell in my mind. I knew I'd okay. never get respect until I got that white boy tatted on my neck. No regrets. Fuck love. Give me the respect and the recognition of a vet. Yeah. Cause I'd rather be an underground legend than a moment in the mainstream. Out here on the street, credibility's the main. Fuck yeah, dude. Cause there's, there's a British dude I listened to named Big Heath. And uh, he just started coming out. And he, like he's he said, it's like you don't gotta be major to have uh, a career in the music industry these days with how available everything is you you can make a great living by being an underground artist like there's this one dude i listen to up in canada he doesn't do shows he just streams his music and he'll do like three shows a year in his hometown and he was able to buy his sister a car last year so like He's he's doing good enough. If you're gonna if you can just straight out buy people cars, you know you're you're doing well enough. You're doing better than I am at least. <laughs> Until I got that white boy tatted on my neck, no regrets. Fuck love, give me the respect and the recognition of a vet. Yeah, cause I'd rather be an underground legend than a moment in the mainstream. Out here on the street, credibility's the main thing. White boy, when removed from the womb, a white boy. When they throw me in the tomb. Fuck Dave Mays and his weak bitch ass, you know you was wrong for participating in that attack. What if Eminem was black and y'all found some music from 10 years back saying white bitch this, white bitch that, kind of like high school. Yeah, Eminem, I think it was one of his first recordings where he says some uh, very unkind things about uh, African American women. But, um... You know, he was he was a dumbass kid, and we've all do, we all do stupid shit when we're young. But uh, even even Eminem knew if he was if he was African American, he would have sold half the half of the records. He he knew that. He says it in the song. For participating in that attack, what if it... I'm I'm loving what this guy's saying though. He's he's getting he's getting some facts out there, and he's got a real good like unique flow. I know I'm pausing it a lot. I'm, I apologize for that, but. I, I'm liking what I'm hearing. Dave Mays and his weak bitch ass. You know you was wrong for participating in that attack. What if Eminem was black and y'all found some music from 10 years back saying white bitch this, white bitch that. Kind of like Ice Cube on that okay bitch track. Would I have been wrong for being offended? Sometimes I think people are way too sensitive. I don't make white music. I don't make black music. If I had to describe it, I guess it's just stack music. Get them riled up and make them react. The first crack in this motherfucker name was stack. I was the first white boy claiming white boy. When these white boys but white boys. I was a white boy. The first white boy claiming white boy. When these white boys but white boys. I was a white boy. The first white boy claiming white boy. When these white boys but white boys. I was a white I tell you what, my old man will love this song. I was a white, the first white boy, claiming white boy, when these white boys but white boys. I was. I never had no white MCs I could grow up and want to be. As far as I could see, they were nothing like me. Just talking white faces, broken white faces, lasted as long as a pair of white laces. Mainstream 
icons monopolize the TV Led people to believe that they representing me Represent me They are not like hey With the fucking hammer pants and high top fade I'm a white boy That shit there was a disgrace When I see it it's like somebody spit in my face I'm out of catching cases and taking chances They in their videos laughing and dancing <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Get a haystack to do the splits and then I'll listen to him. <laughs> no, I'd rather, I'd much rather listen to a dude talking shit through a microphone than seeing a motherfucker dancing on stage. But, um, I, I like that last verse. I get what he was saying. Me, I, I was born in 94. Eminem dropped Infinite in 96, I believe. I've always known a world where Eminem's doing his thing, so I've always been able to look into the hip-hop industry and see at least one white dude. And I I gotta say, like, I, I wasn't, I didn't know, you know, just the Beastie Boys or whatever it was that Vanilla Ice was doing or whatever, you know. But I do know that it was the first time a lot of us white boys were put in that position to be like, damn, representation matters like that. You know, we, a lot of us had no clue that it was that big of a deal. So Eminem was a big, uh, Eminem's a big thing with just that alone. And I struck out with a gun in hand That's the only time Stack ever did the running man One man stands representing a million Old people and children who feel us Cause I, I was the first white boy Claiming white boys When these white boys were white boys I was a white boy The first white boy Claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was a white boy The first white boy Claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was a white boy The first white boy Claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was they say that white boy there got him shaking like a Polaroid. I'd be overjoyed just to see you unemployed. Destroyed. Go on and bring it to a boil. I ain't got to tell you, homeboy. I can show you. My people are low, ready to roll when I say so. You be another name on the homicide case, low. Ain't no way I'm going to take no shit. Fuck what you might have thought, stack ain't no bitch. White boy, from the tip of my nose to the tip of my toes. If you oppose and get too close, I'm going to turn you to toast. Because all I know is stay on my toes or I get turned to Ghost. They call me ghost when I roll through my play mama pad The only who's you out there who ain't got a badge Homie, I'm here to tell you, you must got it bad You think me and a white boy is some kind of fad I was the uh, first white boy, claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was a white boy, the first white boy, claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was a white boy, the first white boy, claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was a white boy, the first white boy, claiming white boy When these white boys were white boys I was. Yeah, Stack Mac, CWB, Nine Deuce, Crazy White Boy for the rest of my motherfucking days on this earth. You dig that? Yeah. Till they throw me in the dirt. Nothing but dub. How long was he? How long was this dude making music? I wonder when he came into the industry, because I don't I don't know much about him other than that he's from Nashville and. Some other dudes that I know of came up when I Googled them. You know what I mean? Um, I enjoyed the song, and I'm down with listening to more of them. I'm not normally a big fan of the whole, uh, like, I don't, I don't want to word it wrong, but, like, what, what Yellow Wolf has going on. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I'm just, I'm not, a, I'm not really a big fan of that, but with this delivery... I fucked with it. I liked, uh, I'm interested in listening to more subject matter, different subject matter. Uh, I want to hear about his upbringing and all that shit, but I feel like this was a good introduction into him. Uh, I really liked the messages that he talked about because, you know, I've, I felt it, you know, I, I could feel it. Uh, I like 
I like the sound of his voice. I really like the instrumental. The only the only thing I didn't much care for was the hook. But I, I get why it was like that, and I'm not going to hold it against it. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think and what Haystack song you want to check out next, because I'm down with listening to them. Uh, other than that, big shout out to all the Patreon supporters, MF Jose, RJ Boom Boom, Jordan, Diego, Daniel, Brian, and Mako. This one was actually a uh, Patreon request from MF Jose, so... My bad, I'm not mentioning that in the beginning of the video. I normally do. But um, other than that, you all have an amazing rest of your day. We'll catch you at the next one. Peace.